Most of the time we as carriers or we as drivers, because I'm a driver as well, have this mindset that we cannot avoid the tension. If we sit somewhere for a long time, we cannot change it. And that is close to the truth. But there are little things that you can do in order to try to avoid the tension and in order to get loaded and unloaded faster. So let's finally start talking about that. So what's the solution for drivers to get unloaded quickly? Well, first thing that I have here for you is get there on time or even better before the appointment time or the time when they open. There are a lot of drivers who will go directly to uh, receivers or shippers if they can do so and spend the night there and be ready before they even open. Sometimes you will have um, raid confirmations saying that a shipper opens up at eight, but sometimes they will open up at seven. And if you're there at seven or before that, there's a bigger chance that they will take you before their uh, regular appointments come in or before they get busy. Also, if you can get there before the appointment time, sometimes you get uh, unloaded at uh, 9, 10 in the morning and your appointment is at 1 p.m. Don't go to the truck stop and uh, get a long breakfast. Yes, sure, stop by, get something to eat, but go to the shipper right away and uh, try to get loaded earlier. I know half of the times you will get loaded earlier unless this is one of those big DCs like Walmart or Kroger or Target, then that's a different story. Usually with them, you can only show up one hour before. I've had a lot of drivers and even myself included and I noticed that uh, the ones who go directly to shippers or receivers uh, get always loaded faster and unloaded faster. Before we go to the next step, let's take a quick look at uh, Load Connect and how this uh, little tool can help you a lot with uh, emailing brokers about available loads. If you watched any of my videos, you know I don't recommend anything unless I believe in it. And Load Connect is one of a few such products. I genuinely think this Chrome extension will change the way you work and book loads. Are you frustrated when you are not able to call a broker and inquire about the load because they want you to email them. Well, I was too until recently, but now those are my favorite loads to work with. Load Connect lets you email brokers with one click of a button and that's it. It will include your name and your company info that you can customize and load information. Instead of copying and pasting email addresses, typing in the load info, into the subject and body and switching back and forth between tabs and windows, all this is now done in a fraction of a second. This way you can find out more about these loads even if you are doing something else like being on the phone, eating or watching my videos on YouTube. Load Connect is packed with other features as well such as being able to see the load rate per mile or get the load routing info from Google Maps directly from the DAT board. Load Connect also works with other load boards as well. Get 50 first emails free and get 10% off any subscription plan as a never stop tracking subscriber. Thanks for sticking with me and let's take a look at the next step. Make sure you're well groomed and presentable and that you show good manners. Good manners will go a long way. Even if you run into someone that had a bad day or that is uh, grumpy, then uh, if you keep uh, your good manners, chances are that they are going to come around no matter what they say to you. Uh, no matter whether they are nice or not, uh, if you stick to being well behaved, that will go a long way. And even if you run into a problem afterwards during the loading or unloading procedure, then if you go back and talk to them, uh, you have a better chance of accomplishing something if you have been nice to them this whole time. The next tip that I have for you is uh, to make them uh, aware of uh, your clock that your time is running again be nice about it just tell them that your uh, clock is running you started early this morning and you have to be somewhere after this load you have to pick up another load and you have to deliver that load on time as well or if you're going home and you, you haven't seen your family in a while you can tell them hey I'm going home if I stay here for more than an hour or two uh, then my clock uh, will run out of time and then I will have to stop and make a 10 hour break and therefore it will prolong that time before I see my family or get home. And like I said, be nice about it. There is no need to get into conflicts. 
just saying this, it will uh, tell them and they will have it in back of their head this whole time, even if they say something like, hey, I can't help it, it's what it is, then uh, eventually they might uh, turn around and uh, if there is a choice uh, for them to unload someone else or you, they might actually take you first because uh, you told them about your situation and you were nice about it. Now this next tip might sound silly, but make them want the load. What I mean by that is uh, tell them, and I had a driver that uh, constantly had been doing this, tell them that uh, if uh, they don't uh, want to unload you uh, right away, tell them, hey, well, there is this uh, other company down the road and they do the same thing. And I've been told if you guys don't want it, I'll just take it to them. I know this is uh, very risky and you cannot use it with big companies or with uh, uh, someone that's not going to play the game, but you be the judge of that situation. I had a driver, for example, if you deliver to a Sam's uh, Club store, and there are a few of them in town and we had uh, those situations uh, when we had that uh, crisis with toilet paper we would just tell them hey if you don't want to take it right now we'll just take it to the next sam's club and they will be happy to take it they're like no 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 just uh, let us take it we'll do it and sometimes you can do this you can tell them hey uh, well if you don't want it uh, i can just bring it back uh, to uh, the company where i picked it from so it's uh, it's bluffing like i said and uh, it might even make it worse uh, but like i said you be the judge uh, whether you can do that uh, whether the company you work for uh, will allow something like that uh, the next tip that i have is to uh, follow all the rules uh, the shipper or receiver uh, requires you to do by showing respect for the rules and not complaining about all the mandates uh, such as uh, uh, safety equipment uh, watching instructional videos uh, or wearing masks uh, pretty soon they're going to ask uh, for blood samples because there are so many rules but you have to follow the rules uh, if you want to get loaded or unloaded and by following those rules and respecting them uh, you show that uh, you are playing their game so if you have to go back to them and ask them hey why uh, haven't you loaded me yet and what's taking so long uh, then uh, you have uh, something to offer them in return. If you have not been compliable this whole time, you are really in no position to ask them uh, to load you faster because uh, you haven't done your part. But if you have done everything that they asked you, now you have leverage. You can ask them to do something for you. And the last tip that I have for you is if you're not loaded in one hour, always check with the shipper or with your dispatcher and tell them, make them aware that you are not uh, loaded yet. For example, if you don't tell your dispatcher that you haven't been loaded and it's been three hours and dispatcher is doing something else, they forgot about you or they're busy with something else and they just assume that everything is working out okay because they haven't heard from you otherwise they would have uh, and then you come to them after three hours tell them hey you know what's going on i haven't been loaded this load is is no good why did you give me this load uh, then uh, you're making a problem for a dispatcher now the what's the dispatcher going to say to the broker hey my driver hasn't been loaded in three hours the broker is going to say the same thing well why haven't you told me you know, in order to get the attention, you have to update me after two hours and whatnot, all these rules, uh, but it's what it is. But dispatcher can help you if you tell them after one hour that you haven't been loaded, they can reach out to the broker, they can reach out to the customer and uh, ask them what's going on. Maybe they can help you. Another thing that you can do is to go inside where you're loading or unloading and politely ask them, uh, hey, how far are you? And I just wanted to make sure like you haven't forgotten about me, you know, make a joke or something, make them laugh. But this happens a lot. Sometimes they will forget about you. I had this happen few times to me and to other drivers where they load you or unload you and they forget about you or there is a miscommunication. They thought someone uh, let you know. Uh, or they turn on the green light, but it, it, it doesn't show correctly on your side. So after one hour, just go inside and see, uh, maybe they forgot you, maybe there is something wrong, uh, maybe they already unloaded you 
and you just don't know it. Um, it could be a, a lot of things. Uh, sometimes you cannot go inside. Sometimes they will lock the door. You have to call them. Uh, in those situations, it's different. But if you're a small company, make sure you check on them often and see what's going on with that loading and unloading. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come back for more. Check out neverstoptruck.in for our courses, our downloads, uh, and everything else that I offer.